Hello, and welcome back to another video of Calc Nerd. So today's video, as you probably saw in the title, is going to be on like a 2D version of Minecraft. Um, this was actually made by Michael Earthenite. Um, he has uh, really interesting programs, um, so I do hope you check them out. Uh, this is one of them, and it's a really interesting version of like a two-dimensional version of Minecraft. So let's get right into showing you what this looks like. Okay, so here we are on program TI craft. So I'm going to click enter to run it. So as you can see, it says TI craft, load world, new world, or quit. Um, and I only have it doing uh, one world. You can have the option uh, to save many worlds, but I just have it uh, saving one. So I just exit the program if I don't want it to save. So what I'm going to do is do a new world and I'm just going to do a normal world. So it's just going to ask for a seed number. Um, which is actually fairly interesting that it asked for a seed number. Um, so I'm going to do like 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, because why not? And as you can see, it will uh, randomly generate a terrain, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, so as you can see, it's just building like little mountains and stuff. And then it will drop me over here. I am only one pixel, so it is kind of difficult to see, uh, but I am dropping right there. And I'm going to like fly if you click uh, up and just hold up, you can fly. Um, and to build blocks, like I'm just gonna go uh, way up here and then I'm gonna click two because that places a block below me. Um, so five would be like the block where you are. So if you wanna place a block below you, you'd click two. If you wanna place a block below and to the left, you'd click one below and to the right three. So clicking five won't actually do anything. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of just play around for just a little bit, uh, so you can kind of just get an idea of what the program is like. I'm going to probably just write Kelp Nerd up in the sky. Um, so yeah, I hope you do enjoy the rest of the video, and remember to stick around for the source code so you can program this on your own calculator. Okay, so now I'm going to go and edit a uh, program uh, TI craft here so you can see how to make this on your own calculator. Um, I am using a TI 83 plus. So basically it should work on a TI 83 and TI 84, TI 84 plus. Uh, this will work on. Okay, so setup editor for list TC. Uh, remember to find that little L you use second and zero, which takes you to the catalog. You click L, which would be uh, this button right here. So second zero to take you to catalog uh, because catalog is the second function because it's yellow. And then you click uh, this parenthesis button right here, take you into the L's, it'll be the very first one. Uh, so two store under the dimensions of LTC. If not dimensions of LTC, fill five into the LTC. So if uh, you basically, it. Uh, keeps where you were on the screen. That's what uh, the list does. So if you weren't in the spot, then it'll put you at 5 comma 5. Axes off. Negative 47 store into X-Men. Negative X-Men store into X-Max. 31 store into Y-Men. Negative Y-Men uh, store into Y-Max. And that was a negative for 31 there. Uh, label M. Clear draw. Clear home. Menu, quote, TI craft. And this is uh, the I for irrational number in case you were curious. Uh, load world, comma, L, new world, comma, N, uh, quit, comma, X. Label X, return, so it just quits the program. It just do a return and nothing else will happen. Label N, you have a bunch of variables that are stored. One store into C, two store into L, one store into G, zero store into H, zero store into V, excuse me, and five store into S, and also five store into T. Menu, new world, uh, normal. Uh, so that is like the name of the menu and then normal is an option. That's why it has like D after it. And then the next A is for advanced, empty is I. So uh, the first one is just to put what it is at the top 
uh, like the name of the custom menu. Okay, so label A, input max V change, comma C, and there is a space right there as is uh, there on most of them. Uh, so input V limit, so like the height limit, uh, input the height change, uh, input the base height, uh, input the seed, and then R store into RAND, so it actually is taking that seed into consideration. It's putting that into the RAND, so when it generates a random number, it will uh, actually take into consideration the seed. So I did not show you, but if you do click advanced, uh, it will uh, say like the max height change. So you can make a world that has like really tall mountains or is that uh, that is completely flat if you wanted to. Um, so you can just experiment and figure out what kind of world you want to uh, make to build whatever you want on. For W comma uh, X min comma X max comma one, V plus random negative C comma C store into V. If V is greater than L, negative G store into V. If e, V is less than negative L, uh, G store into V, H plus V store into H. Line at W comma H comma W comma Y min, so it'll go from the height to the bottom. And go to I, label L, recall pick nine, so I do use pick nine. And if you are using uh, picture nine for something and you do not want to use pick nine, that is okay, you just change that number right there. Uh, you change it here and you'll also change it uh, further down. So archive, uh, list TC, LTC at one, store into S, and LTC at two, store into T. I did have to change a little bit of this around uh, just to make it so it did one picture. But if you uh, follow exactly what I have here, you'll get the same stuff. For A, comma, zero, comma, one, comma, one, Horizontal Y min plus A, horizontal Y max minus A. Vertical X min plus A, vertical X max minus A. So that's like putting the borders in on the side. And repeat until K is equal to 91, which is the store button. And I forgot to say earlier, I apologize. Um, you click the store button to get like the menu where you can uh, save and quit and do all that stuff. Okay, so repeat until K is equal to 91. S store into X, T store into Y. Get key store into k, pixel on at y comma x, s minus k is equal to 24, and not pixel test at t comma s minus 1, uh, two parentheses, plus k is equal to 26, and not pixel test at t comma s plus 1, and uh, just one parenthesis there, store into s. And then this is uh, has a little bit more, because delete and stat you can use to like climb up uh, stuff. It's just a different way. So it also allows you to clip up, like if you're below a pixel, you can it uh, test the one above two, so you can go up if you need to. So you can make like little ladders and that kind of stuff if you want to. T minus K is equal to 25 and not pixel test at T comma one comma S, two parentheses plus two multiplied by K is equal to 33 and not pixel test at T plus two comma S, and then there's three parentheses there just to end all that stuff up there. Uh, minus two multiplied by K is equal to 23 and not pixel test at T minus two comma S store into T. And you don't have to check down because there is a gravity feature on this. So if sum K is equal to 72 comma 73 comma 74 comma 82, 83, 84, 92, 93, 94. So any of these buttons down here. Pixel change at Y plus eight or y minus eight, sorry, y minus eight plus int of k divided by 10, uh, comma x minus three plus 10 times the f part of k divided by 10. t plus not pixel test at t plus one comma s store into t. Pixel off uh, at y comma x. End quote, save. Um, so I don't believe you actually need that and it's just like a marker in the program. I just put it in uh, because when I was programming, it was just a way for me to uh, get to that spot and know where I was. So I can just delete that and it'll work just fine. Label P, menu. Uh, so this is the pause menu. So resume, comma, I, comma, save, which is S and M -U, menu. <laughs> I like said that backwards, comma, M. Label S, store pick nine, unarchive LTC. S, store into LTC at one and T, store into LTC at two. Unarchive LTC and go to P. 
That is the entire program for TI Craft. Again, uh, thank you to the maker of this program. It's a really, really fun program. I hope you do have fun uh, playing this game. You can make like statues. You could even try to make a calculator if you wanted to. Uh, that would be really neat. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it was a very fun video to make and uh, sorry about my art skills. I know they're not that great. Um, so yeah, I hope you have fun playing this program. And as always, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.